Let's bring on our special guest and the rest of my panel here for today's show to kick things off. Eric May, Tim Reedy are here, and we're also welcoming in the co-chairman of the Effort Alliance Club Card Show and Auction, Brad. Uh, thanks so much for coming on here, Brad Louderman. We are excited to have you back, and I'm sure you're excited for this upcoming weekend. Oh, we're so excited. And like you said, we're, we're glad to be back. We, we had to skip the last two years. We had a makeup one in October, which went very well. And now we're back on our March schedule. Right. So I am uh, seeing that it's a, your 42nd annual, uh, give or take, you know, having to pause <laughs> for COVID there. Um, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here with this event? As I should say, it's coming up this weekend right here in Ephrata, uh, and I'm sure obviously will be well attended. Sure, Chad. It's going to be a very busy day. The day starts out with uh, a, a dealer tables when the show opens up at 830. So there's like 40 dealers full of about 70 individual tables. You can you can shop. You can uh, even try to sell some of your cards that you have at the at 11 o'clock between 11 and one. Trace McSorley is going to be there to sign autographs. We have a silent auction going on throughout the day until about one when that closes. And then at 230, the big auction begins where we have about 245 items up for auction. Right, and so it, we should point out that uh, admission for adults is just $5, and for children uh, under 12, just a dollar. So incredibly affordable. It'll be over mm -hmm. at the Ephrata Rec Center here in Ephrata, and in all the proceeds will benefit some really great organizations here in the Ephrata area. Eric, you know, this has been something that you guys have certainly talked about and, uh, and championed here for Blue Ridge 11 and for Sports Talk for many, many years. Do you have a question for our friend Brad here? Well, you know, I, I guess, first of all, I got to give you guys kudos for the amount of time that you put into this. Um, I guess maybe if you want to find a silver lining in, in not having the last two years, it gives you more time to maybe get some more memorabilia. But um, I really have to uh, a tip of the cap to you for, you know, for bringing in some pretty high profile name people. I mean, obviously you, you big area for Phillies fans, Orioles fans, and now you're drawing in a Penn Stater. I, I think that's uh, I think that's tremendous. So congratulations. Thank you. I think what helps is I have a good committee. I have seven other lions beside myself on the committee and each one has their own job to do and we pull it all together. It's, it's a team effort. All right, well, we do happen to have a Penn State grad right here in Tim Reedy. Uh, pretty exciting that Trace McSorley is coming down here to kind of sign some autographs, Tim, and all of that. Uh, I think at one point held a lot of the records over there at Penn State until uh, Sean Clifford came in and did some things there. But excited about that. And any questions for Brad about kind of the events that are going on this Saturday coming up here? Yeah, when I saw Trace McSorley was going to be there, I, I, I just – got excited because this is such a huge Penn state area and he was a beloved, uh, you know, quarterback, maybe didn't have the greatest skill set in the world, but that grit and just how he played on the field is really just what this area just loved about him. Um, I guess my question is what you talked about the big auction coming up at two 30 PM on Saturday. What are some of the big ticket items? Do you think that people are going to be bidding high on? Well, I bought four of the items along with me to, to show tonight, um, one item is uh, an autograph, Ken Griffey Jr. ball. Cool. Uh, nice little autograph and a certificate of authenticity for that as well. Uh, big items throughout the year have been bobbleheads. And uh, I have a Phillies bobblehead. I, I left a scarf on because it's a little cold this, this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> and I also didn't want his head right. to move around too much. But yeah, we have a Phillies bobblehead. And for those who collect bobbleheads, it's a gold base. It's a very nice item. And it's from back in the 60s. Also from that era were the uh, the Heartland statues. And we have Say Hey Willie Mays Ooh. to uh, go up for auction. And then uh, autographs are always popular. And baseball cards are popular. We have a large print uh, celebration card, it's called. Autograph by Ted Williams. Wow. So this would be one of the big ticket items for the whole show. <clears throat> Everyone loves Ted Williams, even though you may not, you're not wow. be a Red Sox fan. But he's, been, he's one of the all-time greats. So that should be a, a popular item to bid on. So if you wanted to bid on that or any of those or anything that you can find on the list of things, that starts at 2.30. People would have to be kind of in their seats for that? Yeah, it starts at 2.30. Uh, you should be there ahead of time to register. So you need to so you get a, a bidder's number. 
And, and then when your item comes up, it really and often because uh, the, the prices do vary. Some things go low, some things go high. It depends on the uh, people in attendance. All right, and so I think people can check out what's going on, what's going to be on some of those lists at uh, effortalliance.org, right? If they kind of go onto your website and then look for the card show tab. Yes, that's correct. We have a card show tab and also an auction tab. On the auction tab, you can actually see the auction list online, and you can also download it as a PDF file so you can look at it at your leisure and print it out if you want to. But we're going to have copies of the auction list at the event as well. All right, so Brad, you know, this has been going on since late 1970s, early 1980s. You kind of joined the process about halfway through, about 20 years ago. What has this whole uh, event kind of grown into and meant for the local area? Because that seems to be something big for you in the Lions Club that it really, yes, it's, it's sports and all of that, but it, it seems to connect back to the local area here. Well, everything we make from this event goes back somehow to the youth of Africa. Uh, the, the biggest uh, recipient is the rec center. Uh, they they house the event, and so we give a lot back to them. The uh, baseball program gets some. The football program gets some. So we do give some to athletics. Uh, we also uh, give uh, uh, some uh, some donations to uh, support organizations. The effort uh, Mountaineers Table used to be Power Packs. Now it's called Mountaineers Table, which uh, provides food for needy students. Uh, there's an organization that comes in as a counseling group in the middle school and high school. We donate to them, as well as uh, we have a student of the month that shows uh, initiative in the area of service, because our, mo our motto for the Lions Club is we serve. And we also have a senior service award that we give out as well. All, everything for the youth is funded by this, uh, this uh, fundraiser. Eric, uh, any more questions here for Brad before we let him go and, and get ready for this uh, big event coming up this weekend? Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys keep track of like some record setting bids as far as items are concerned. Do you have something like that? And uh, can you share with us maybe what some of the all time highest uh, bids were for a particular item? I, I, I really don't off the top of my head. I know there's been some items I forget what they were exactly. I think they were uh, autographed jerseys that went for se went for several hundred dollars. Uh -huh. uh, there's a couple other things that I know because I'm also the club treasurer uh, that uh, have gone for maybe six hundred dollars. That might be about the maximum for a single item. But uh, a lot of things do go reasonably priced. So if you have your eye on something, you know, come on out and bid on it. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I hear right now sports memorabilia, and especially cards are an extremely hot item right now. So uh, I'm excited for this weekend, hoping that, uh, you know, people come out and and bid and spend some money to help, uh, which I think is a great cause. And again, you guys do a tremendous job. Thank you, I appreciate that. March 26th, which is this Saturday, uh, doors open at 8.30, it sounds like. So pretty much that's when you could start showing up. But then if you want to do autographs with Trace McSorley, former Penn State player, uh, has been to several NFL teams, that's at 11 a.m. And then the auction begins at 12.30. So there's a bunch of different things. You guys can plan your days around it. Uh, Brad, any last pitch to the community here before we let you go? Well, again, this, this supports the youth of Ephrata. So, you know, it's it, it, support, it doesn't support the Lions Club. We just run the event. It supports the youth. So you have kids in school. You got grandkids. You have neighborhood kids. Come out and support them. And, of course, Blue Ridge 11 has done a lot with uh, the Ephrata Lions over the years and this card show and auction. So we wish you all the best. We hope everybody out there who's in town uh, or if you want to have some family that wants to come into town and enjoy this, uh, we hope you head over to the Ephrata Rec Center. Brad, good luck. Thanks for coming on with us again this year. And uh, hopefully we'll hear some good things about some big items that went for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Well, and, and I want to say thank you for having me. And Blue Ridge has been a, a proud sponsor of the event. They, they help fund the autograph tickets. So we had the Blue Ridge logo on the back of those. So we appreciate everything Blue Ridge does for us. Sure. You guys love helping local community. So do we. So it's a great partnership. We, uh, we thank you for coming on, Brad.